It all began here at Greater Refuge Temple many years ago for Randy Brown. And now he's running for Dorchester County Corner. In this special edition of Quentin's Post Ups, I speak exclusively with him one on one. So here we sit inside your beloved Greater Refuge Temple Hill, Huge Street in downtown Charleston. Yes, sir. And from what I understand, this is actually home for you. It is. Because you grew up here. I did. Yeah, talk to me more about what goes to your mind when you think of Greater Refuge Temple. When I think about um, Greater Refuge, um, 230 Huge Street is, like you said, is where I grew up. Um, God, family, yes. fun, vacation Bible school, right. everything, you know, that, that took place here, you know, weddings and everything. Let's go down memory lane to October 23rd. Okay. You actually, and I want to create this scene because you were actually standing in front of your friends and family and congregation at the New Bethel Sounds of Praise in Jetburg. And you were actually there for a special spiritual convention. But you were actually there for a big announcement. Talk to me about that night and where you really were emotionally. Okay. Um, that night, um, I wanted to make the announcement there at the church because of my background. I believe I believe in God and I believe that He has directed me to this point where I'm at now in life. And what greater place to make that announcement than in front of um, my family, God, and you know, a group of believers. Yes. And um, on that night, um, I made the announcement. I was I was pretty nervous, but I was confident in um, the direction that the Lord um, He has me going. And one direction that you are heading into right now is running for Dorchester County Corner. Yes, sir. Tell me why Randy Brown, why now? Why Randy Brown, why now? Well, um, in case you, you don't know, um, back in 2007, um, my brother, he was killed in a car accident. So sad. Um, and it happened all of a sudden. And later in 2010, my sister right. and um, my two nephews were killed in a house fire. And during that time, uh, my family and I um, was going through a lot of mixed emotion. But most of all, we wanted to know what happened. Um, like I said, it's just so much going on around that time. We wanted to know what happened, why is the big question, right. and um, exactly what, what took place. Um, but as, as coroner, I understand um, the job as a coroner, I owe the family that, that answer. Right. And um, during the death of my loved one, I was seeking those answers. And, um, you know, we, we got the answers, but I know how it feels to, to search for the answer. So as, as coroner, I'll be able to um, give the, the exact answer and, and to be there um, for that family during that difficult time. And as you know, politics creepily came into that particular um, uh, situation as far as politics for this particular race. And you actually said this to the Somerville Journal scene. You said, quote, I don't see it as Democrat or Republican. I would treat everyone the same. And you say that you don't look at it as a Republican or Democrat. So I'm wondering, as we sit here right now, Randy, what do you see it as? I see it as um, a position there to, um, for me to do the best death investigation um, possible. Um, when someone dies, um, it, it doesn't matter their, their race, it doesn't um, matter their gender, right. it, there's, there's, no, um, there's no separation. We all are one, and, and as, again, my job as coroner, I'll, I'll do my best to do um, the best death investigation possible. And you later told the Somerville Journal scene this quote, investigating was something I always wanted to do, even in the firefighter world, helping assist investigations with fires. I enjoy helping people. I realize it's not all about me. Tell me when did you realize it was all about people? When I first started um, in the fire service. Wow. Um, and, and probably before then, but more because as a firefighter, that's, that's what we're there for. If someone calls us, they need us. Right. So um, our job is to um, help and assist in um, any way possible. If it's a structure fire, if it's a car accident, um, even if it's just a lift assist, helping someone's um, loved one off of the floor. So um, I'm there for help, and um, that's when I realized it. And you also said this too, I have my team established, and we're ready to go. Phil Spiel ahead. Let me ask you the obvious, how ready are you? I'm ready. Yes. I'm ready. Yeah. Yes, sir. Um, ready, as, ready as can be. Wow. Yes, sir. Fill in the blanks for me. Randy Brown as a firefighter is? Brave. The Low Country Firefighters is? 
a charity group. These St. John's and St. Paul districts are? One big family. 2007 and 2010 taught you? A lot. Um, yes, a lot. Aaron Brown is? My wife. God is? Love. Dorchester County is? Pause. <laughs> <laughs> My home. Yes, yes. Randy Brown, a person is. A great guy. That is awesome. Well, Randy Brown, thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate it. Okay, thank you. Thank you.